Hello and welcome, this is Mouse Gunner, and we're back with some more of the Beast and Exploration DLC for Battle Brothers. We've just come out of a fight with some witches, and I'm not exactly sure how badly we're injured after that. Okay, so we do have an injury here, so we're probably going to want to swap that guy out. But these guys... Okay, so hit point damage is not that bad there. Okay, seems like for the most part we got out of that alright. We will switch out this guy and I did forget to switch back over the pike as well so it looks like I have two level ups let's go ahead and start here so looking at the perks I'm not 100% sure where we're gonna go after this I mean I could take gifted if let's see what our stats are first oh okay so we're at 69 I'm probably gonna take this what do we want to take beside that well, as much as fatigue is nice that's something more for the frontliners I think I'm going to take these two because we're, we're low on these two stats. And it'd be nice to have a little bit of defense. Okay, so I don't really feel like we need to take Gifted then because we've rolled well on the kind of things that I would want to roll or get better values for out of that. So no, not that. We could take Footwork, which would get us out of a jam if we have somebody up in our face. But having the Polearm skill, it's not as big of a deal. We do have Nimble to protect ourselves a little bit. We could go with Headhunter, which would give us a increasing plus 15% chance to hit the head, and that gives you bonus damage. So that would be nice. Oh, one thing I should have probably looked to do is increase our initiative, because we... Do we have... Yeah, we have Overwhelm, so we'd want to go before people. All right, well, that's probably something for another level. I don't know if there's anything that actually increases your initiative as far as one of these perks off the top of my head. I don't think so, but I could be mistaken on that. I think Pathfinder only works in, yeah, heavier terrain, right? Yeah. Hmm. Well, we could go with Fortified Mind or something like that, but again... I don't know. Dodge would help us... In any case, right? Defensively speaking, whether we're being shot at or not. I think we take this. Fearsome, Headhunter, they could be good. I'm actually tempted to take Fearsome. But I have to remind myself we're going to be facing Undead in our endgame challenge. So yeah, I'm going to go with Dodge instead. Alright, let's go ahead and go uh, to our next level up here, which is our Crossbowman. Uh, what are his current stats looking like? Okay. So... Where would we want to go perks-wise? Overwhelm wouldn't necessarily be bad. We'd only get one effect of that because usually you're only firing once per turn with a crossbow. I mean, I don't know of a way you could fire more than that. All right, well, let's take our stats first. Okay. I think I'm going to take a little bit of hit points here. Uh, as I'd like to improve that. Oh, you know what? Resolve. We should take Resolve. Yeah, we should take Resolve. I'd like to get above 50 with most of my men if I can. Okay, so definitely I'm going to take the range skill because that's just going to continue to improve this character's abilities. Then after that, we could continue to do range defense, which is usually how this guy's going to take damage. Or we could take the hit points, as I've already said. I, yeah, I'll go with the range defense. It's not every day you roll the three, and that's usually one of your better rolls. Although these are all great rolls, too. Yeah, let's go with that. All right, now that we've done that... Ah, you know what? We should take Nimble. Take even less damage. That's a good idea. Didn't even have to think about that one. Okay, so that's all our level ups. We're pretty much ready to go. How long is it going to take the hand to... Okay, two to four days. We should probably switch the dog then, shouldn't we? And we can sort this. This is all just... I mean, we have a lot of food, although a lot of it's going to spoil soon. Take the dog... And give it here in case this guy ends up actually being in combat. Alright, so I think we're still good for a contract if we find one. I think we may have rerouted to attack the witch. So let's go and in, into town here and see what's going on here. May have raided trade routes because, I mean, I think that's what the witches were doing. No. Okay, we do have... Oh, we already on a contract. Whoops. <laughs> Should have looked up in the upper right corner. I kind of forgot about that because of the witch fight. 
All right, so we do have some goods to sell. We could sell some of the food that's going to spoil anyway. I mean, it's going to spoil anyway, right? And there's no way we're going to eat all of this, I wouldn't think. Then again, it's not a whole lot. Maybe we should just keep hold on to it. This isn't going to sell for very much because of the town already having that good. Okay, so I don't really see anything necessarily that we need to sell right now. I'm just going to leave. All right. That's right, we're going to Rheinberg. Oh, some brigands off there, but I'm already headed away from them, unfortunately. It's possible if I hadn't rerouted, we would have been able to make it here for nightfall, but it's not going to take that long for it to be dawn again. Okay, Hank the Guildmaster welcomes you back. You hand over your recently illustrated map, and he pours over it, swatting the spotted mark with the back of his hand. Of course, that's where it is. He smirks and pays you what you're owed. Okay. All right, so we do have more contracts here. This is where, unfortunately, the trade routes are ambushed. Uh, again, we might as well wait until morning, so I'm just going to camp. Okay, well, now let's go in and go to the marketplace. We can sell the furs. Okay, let's sort that. We have a ton of food. I don't think the food will last as long as it's supposed to, but we should be good on food for a while. We could go to... Where is our current arms looking so we don't have either a war bow or a heavy crossbow so it'd be nice to get that upgrade but the question is how much are the prices being affected right now well unfortunately they don't even have what i'm looking for so yeah the one thing i was thinking we might want to pick up more of is these throwing axes or what have you although i do have these as well and the reason why I've been thinking about it is if we're facing skeletons, we really shouldn't be using javelins. Because I, I, those count as piercing weapons, and skeletons don't take very much damage from that. So uh, things like the throwing axe and uh, the bolos would actually be more effective. So that's a, that's a plan for possibly the future. Let's see what kind of armor is here. Again, it's not going to be very good supply right now because of the uh, raid trade routes and the prices are obviously terrible as well. So we're better off just moving on. I guess we can see what the contract is while we're here. I'm not going to do this one because we're on the edge of this faction's territory. And that uh, contract was more than likely available in some of the other towns. Well, let's see what this is. A couple of bleeding goats are being led down the road. They shuffle through the mud, prodding their noses through the muck, and somehow finding things to chew up. Their shepherd plants his cane in the ground. Hey there, mercenary. Hank the Guildmaster has been looking for you. Well, we just met him not that long ago. Hank the Guildmaster angrily shakes his head. Brigands have been tearing up these parts for far too long. I sent a lad, Raymond's son, to go find them. And you know what? Only his head came back. Of course, the idiot brigands sent one of their own to deliver it. We captured and interrogated him, and so now we know where they're at. The man leans back, pedaling his thumbs over one another, and thought, I do not have the men, but I do have the crowns. Let's say I slip some your way, and you slip the swords theirs. All right, well, if you pay me good money, I'll think about it. All right, 1240, I definitely want to be paid more than that. He says 1350. Okay, I mean, it will take care of the one problem, which is the rated trade routes. Now, it won't resupply them, which is unfortunate, but uh, yeah, okay. And we already knew that there's something going on in this area, I think, if I remember correctly, of camps that we want to get rid of. So if we're getting paid to do it, that'd be nice. At least I think it was this area that was being heavily affected by that. Okay. Uh, I don't think there's really anything else we want to buy or sell here, so we'll just move on. I do eventually want to make it to a... Taxidermist, because... Oh, actually, where is this? Ah, over there. <laughs> I feel like... We keep being told to go uh, on the other side of this mountain range. 
So how do we want to do that? Do we want to go the same route we did last time, which was this this course up this way, or do we just want to follow the road and get there eventually? I say we take the road. We could also go through the woods here if we wanted to live life dangerously. Now that we didn't know that there were some brigands in the area. Oh, there they are. Uh, yeah, we're going to attack those guys. Uh, that is if we go on the road. Hopefully we don't, we don't fight them in the forest. That would be somewhat annoying. But I feel like may not be uh, able to avoid that. We'll just uh, keep chasing them here. They will eventually get out of the forest. Hello. Um, I don't like that train. Let's keep going. Come on. How about now? All right, whatever. I'm going to take the fight. <laughs> Okay, we have the range advantage. So do we want to backpedal and try and get to this high ground that we may be able to take advantage of? They may be able to get to me before I get there. We'll just think about that. Two, four, six, eight. Road might actually speed you up. I actually, you know, it's, it's two. Okay. It just less fatiguing to move along the road. All right, I'll give it a try. So two, four, six, eight, they get to here. They'd be able to get to me next turn. Do I put up a spear wall to meet them if they do that? Because they'll be more hesitant to do so. I just hold. We'll see what happens. Hold. They may still have throwing weapons, though, so I do have to be somewhat careful. Here, we can just end turn. Alright. 60, 51. I guess I'll hit this guy, or at least attempt it. There's no reason not to just go straight back to the high ground, in my opinion. Okay, we can go ahead and throw an axe at this guy. And then start moving back. Okay, you can move back. And I'm going to hold just to see if what I want to do. Okay. Hmm. Eh, we'll give it a try. Here, I'll just end turn. Oh, wait. Okay. Do we just keep hitting this guy, trying to take him out, or do we hit this other guy who has heavier armor? I think we hit the guy with heavier armor. Or at least attempt it. <laughs> okay, move back. That's right, so a two, four, six. They're here. Two, four, six. Eight. I don't think they can get to this guy, so we can kind of spare him some fatigue if we want to. But you know what? I think we go to Spear Wall here. They're going to beat me on initiative. And the best way to stop them from being able to get on top of me like that is to just... Okay, well, that's going to be the better shot. Okay, so we already discussed. They can't really get to this guy, so we can just end turn. But this guy they definitely can get to. All right. We should probably back up the one pace and then hold turn. Okay, they do have throwing weapons. They're gonna hold because uh, usually the raiders do not want to charge directly into spear walls if they can avoid it. All right, so now we can reload. 48, 32. This guy's going to be the best chance. And we missed. Okay, we can go ahead and fire here. I could go after these guys in the back, but you know what? Although that guy had a uh, shield wall. Maybe that wasn't the best choice. Hey, okay, back up. 
and turn. Back up and turn. Back up. Spear wall and turn. And up on there and turn. Back up and turn. Check a thing and turn. Move back. Spear wall and turn. Move back. Spear wall and turn. Move back. Spear wall and turn. And unturn. Oh, wow. Okay. This guy was pretty brave. Uh, I think we hold. 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 Here we definitely want to chuck... Try and finish this guy off. Reload. Unfortunately, they were able to get in. Um, we may want to just charge forward now. So I'm going to move up. Because these guys have already gone, we can kind of take advantage of them. We'll hold to get the best uh, advantage. Chuck. And start trying to flank. We'll move here and hold. Okay, this guy needs to switch his weapon. And as I tend to like to do, I like to put the dog out whenever they try and surround me like this. To help me with some bonuses and what have you. Okay. I'll right, we'll poke this guy down. Uh, we should probably move to meet them. We'll move up. We're not going to get more combat bonus than this. Move up. Same thing here. All right, we're going to go after this guy because he's out in the open. We're going to go after this guy because he's out in the open. All right. Uh... I kind of don't want him to be able to throw his crap at me. So I'm thinking about just moving up and meeting him. Alternatively, I go to here, but that allows him to come in and tie my back line. I kind of don't want him to be able to do that. I think this is the safe move. Okay, if we want to attack this turn, we want to move here. Do a little bit of poke on that guy and then move up so we can attack more freely next turn. Give that guy a little bit of a poke. And this guy a little bit of a swipe. All right, looking good. Man, I was a little afraid that he would do that. But again, I think that was the right move. So this guy has not gone yet, and he's about to go. So let's go ahead and get an overwhelm penalty going on him. There we go. Let's move to here and chuck an axe at this guy. Uh, either way we look at it, I'm not really in a position to do anything yet, so we'll just do that and then, then turn, because I can't move. Okay, so who hasn't gone yet? Well, you're about to go, and I kind of don't like getting hit with a anything that can cause me a stun damage, so I'll go there. Uh, we could also throw out a dog if we wanted to. I'll hold for that. Here, I'm going to shield wall up, and then we're going to see how good our, our chance to hit is. 67. What about this? 67 as well. All right. Uh, you know what? I'm going to go for it. Oops. <laughs> All right. Okay, he's dead. 
Guy's not gone yet. Let's go ahead and get up in his face. It'll mess up his morale. Then we're gonna go here and chuck a spear at, uh, javelin at him. Yeah, I was afraid he'd do that. All right, well, this is going to be a good point to go ahead and put a cut in the video. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. This is Mouse Gunner, signing out.